Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demo, I will talk about the Planner application that Microsoft has added rather recently to Office 365. It is yet another way of managing your tasks. As you probably know, there's a task list that you can add to any SharePoint site, but you can also use this shared planner dashboard. And so I'm going to go into that. You'll notice that when you reach this, you get into the planner hub and there are no plans available. The plan is a grouping of tasks, something that you want to achieve that has many subtasks. So let's say you want to do a kickoff for the new year, then I'm going to create a plan for that. So that's what I'm going to show you soon. But I also want to show you here what's in the navigation. As you see, there are rather few options here. Let's just send planner feedback. There are no options as they are, are in other places. And that's one thing that you need to consider in general when it comes to planner. There are really no customizations options here. And what you see is what you get. And you can't really customize much. So this might suit you or you might want to go with a SharePoint based task management solution where you can have more customization options. But so that's one thing you need to take um, into consideration. Will this fit my needs? If it fits, but not entirely, then you might want to go with another solution because there are no customization options here. As far as I can see so far, there might be some in the future coming, but this is what we have at the moment. And I haven't seen any plans for the future in terms of adding new customization options to the planner. So I'm going to go in and create a new plan. And um, as you see, you have a plan name, a plan email address. That means that you can email things or forward emails that you get into this task. And that's of course a rather powerful feature. So let's do that. Let's try that. We'll have a um, kickoff plan and that will be for 2017. And there's an email address there. And this is a public one. As you see, I can see the pop over here. There, everyone in the organization can see this uh, plan. So this is for public or private. The default is public, which goes along with the, the Microsoft strategy of making very much public by default. It's not secured by default, so much is more shared by default. And then for the event and uh, activities. Party, something like that. All right, so we'll create a plan. As you see, you're directly taken into the to-do list here, where you can just add new tasks. And I'll just uh, order food is a good one. If you just press enter, it's just created. But of course you can set the due date and the sign. So it's very, very easy to add new tasks here. You have a little plus button there also that does the same thing. And I will um, plan the seating. It's a good thing to do, maybe, like that. And of course we need to send out invitations and that is a good thing to do well in advance. So let's put that in November 15th. That's a good date to, to and 2016 to start planning. So we're adding that task. How you see that? Now then you can work with buckets too. So here you see the add a new bucket. So I'm gonna create a few buckets here. One is planning and another one is uh, marketing. And this is of course also a categorization of uh, the tasks that need to be done. If you don't want to categorize, you don't have to, but as you see, you can add as many buckets as you want here. So I'm just going to send out the invitations. That's obviously a marketing thing. And the order the food, if that's a planning thing, plan the seatings, that goes to planning too. So, so, so that, now we have the, these tasks arranged into the buckets. You see, you can mark this as done by simply uh, completing it there. You can also see the uh, my tasks here. As you see, I, I don't have any tasks now, but if I go ahead and open one of these, you see I have some more options there. The first one is assign, so I'll assign it to me. And um, I have a description, I also have a checklist. And this is rather interesting that I have subtasks right there. I can attach documents to, of course, and I can create links here. And there's also like a discussion board, so comments here. So let, let, let's add a checklist to this. What are we doing? We're planning the seating, All right? Uh, so we, the first thing we need to do is um, estimate guests, right? How many do we have? And then that's not done yet. So I'm going to put that and clear that checkbox. 
and then we want to choose seeding options. So that those are subtasks that you need to do before the seeding, the planning of the seeding is done. Usually that's how it works. And this is also a way, of course, to make sure that you follow the progress of the overall tasks. Then the seedings in there is two of the checkpoints done, as you see. And here you see that it's assigned to me. I can also go in in this and assign a color. So I can say set a label. That's also a grouping. And I can use, let's say, we don't have any importance, as you see in this. In a regular task, you do have importance. But let's use these for important. So let's do a high priority on that one, and medium, and low. So that's, of course, something you can do, or whatever categorization you want. And as you see, there's no save button here. You just close the tasks, and your updates will get, get saved. So I'll put this as high priority, that this actually needs to be done and close it again. And there you see now I have the little color indicated there. And it doesn't have to be one. It could be actually be two of these two. So then you would have two colors assigned there. As you see there, also you have these drop downs. Now there, first you have the buckets in the first choice there, and then you have the started in progress and completed. So that's not there in the, in the UI when it's minimized, but you can open up the task and look that. All right, so that's how you add tasks and assign people. And you can, of course, also move these between the buckets if you want to. You can also view these tasks as charts, rather powerful. Now, I don't have that many tasks in here, but as you see, I have one unassigned and two assigned and there are three tasks left. And here you can add, so you can work in this task list also. And if I go into my tasks now, there's one task there. And of course, I can mark that as complete. And now that's completed. And if I go into the kickoff again there, now you see that one is missing. It's, it's hidden by default. And that is a short overview of Microsoft Planner. Thank you for watching.